The 2009 O'Brien Award for Canada's Breeder of the Year going to Harry Rutherford. And uh, certainly, uh, Harry, your name's synonymous with Canadian breeding over the past couple of decades. Horses like Pure Ivory, Elegant Image. More recently, Il Villaggio, who in fact this year was an O'Brien Award winner. Uh, first of all, describe uh, the feeling to be an O'Brien Award winner and to be recognized as a, a premier breeder in this particular category. It's, it's a very... Uh, but uh, I feel very humble and everything else, but it's very exciting I, uh, and to be nominated with my good friend Chris Christopher, who um, I, I, I didn't think we were a shoe in or anything, and, uh, and it didn't really matter, but it's so nice when you get the final nod and uh, we're excited. And you know, Greg, the nice thing about this whole award is not just the horses, but the man that presented the award. Charles Armstrong, him and his wife Lenore are two of the classiest people in the industry and that was a great treat for me to be presented this award by him and, and his friend Dr. Brown. And Harry, you've been around a long time and, uh, and uh, we mentioned some of the champion horses that you've produced from your operation. Uh, you're still considered though pretty relatively a small time breeder here in the province of Ontario. Sometimes when you look back at the champions that have come from your barn, you must have to pinch yourself. Well, we do and, and if you think about it, Greg, we, we only had uh, three and four mares at that time and uh, we now have nine mares so our chances are going to get better but um, you go back to the one horse they never mentioned much, it was before the O'Brien Awards, but Ride the Way, for example, he uh, Woody had him, well, Wellwood, and he never lost a race to a two-year-old. And so uh, we, we feel, um, yeah, we do have to pinch ourselves because we've had some great, um, great luck. If you don't have luck in this industry, you're in trouble. We have some nice pedigrees, we've been, but then again, the, We've had some luck getting them too, you see. So. Yeah, you talk about luck, uh, but is there a secret formula to, to sending out these types of champions? You know, I, I don't think so. We don't perform any magic, but Joey and I, uh, my wife Diane, call her Joey, and uh, <laughs> we we do a lot of the stuff ourselves. We have one hired man now that uh, works around the farm, but we, we're there every day with them, and uh, um, I think that helps. Uh, you see them every day, the babies, and you little something happens, you can get right on it. And um, but we do the best we can, and uh, hope for the big fella up there to look after us. You know. Absolutely. Well, Harry, congratulations. Good luck in 2010. Thanks very much, Craig. Thank Harry you. Rutherford, the O'Brien Award winner as the Breeder of the Year for 2009.